Hi, boys and girls. Today you're going to be taking your very first math assessment. Everyone should have one of those in front of them. And before we get started, we're going to do what every good test taker does before a test. We're going to read everything before you begin. So hopefully the first thing that you did was put your name on this paper and the date. Number 1A, arrange the following numbers in order from greatest to least. Please take out your highlighter and we're going to highlight the important parts of each question. So here, you're going to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. And you have four numbers to order. Letter B, use the words 10 times to tell how you ordered the two smallest numbers using words, pictures, or numbers. Use words 10 times to tell how ordered two smallest numbers. You can use words, pictures, or numbers. I put a helper sentence here if you're stuck on how to get started and you would like to use words. So you would fill in the blank. The blank in blank is 10 times as big as the blank in blank. You only have to use that if you're stuck and you want to use words. If you'd rather use pictures or numbers, go ahead. But here's a hint. Even though I use words, you can also use numbers in those lines. Number two, compare using greater than, less than, or equal to. Write your answers inside the circle. So you're going to compare using these symbols. Write answer inside circle. Letter A, 100,000, blank, 10,000. I would like you to write this number in standard form before comparing. Letter B, 200,000s, 400s. Write that number in standard form before comparing. 700s plus 4,000s plus 27 ones. Write that number in standard form. And then you're going to compare it to 6,000s plus 400s. There's a line to write that number in standard form. Letter D, 1 million blank 10 hundred thousands. And you're going to put that number in standard form. Remember one of the strategies that we use when comparing numbers was to line them up one on top of the other and then to compare the digits. On your next page, number three. The football stadium at Louisiana State University has a seating capacity, that's meaning how much something can hold, of 92,542. Letter A. Okay, so let's stop there. So for letter A, B, C, and on the next page, D and E, it's all going to relate back to this first sentence. So here we're talking about a football stadium that has a seating capacity of 92,542. Letter A, according to the 2010 census, the population of San Jose, California was approximately 10 times the amount of people that LSU's stadium can seat. What was the population of San Jose in 2010? Population of San Jose, approximately 10 times the amount of people LSU Stadium Conceit. What was population? San Jose in 2010. You're going to show your work and solve here. Be sure to circle or underline your answer somewhere so I know what your final answer is. Letter B, write the seating capacity of the LSU Stadium in words and expanded form. So you're going to write seating capacity in words and expanded form. 
So you're going to have to do two things. Words and expanded form. Remember, you're talking about the seating capacity, which is given to you in the first statement. Letter C, draw two separate number lines to round the LSU stadium seating capacity to the nearest 10 and to the near 10,000 and to the nearest thousand. So you have to draw two separate number lines Round seating capacity, nearest 10,000, nearest 1,000. Again, your seating capacity is right here. So my first number line is going to be to the nearest 10,000. I'm going to put my bigger easy number, smaller easy number, halfway point tick marks. And then I also have nearest thousand over here. With my tick marks. Letter D. Compare the stadium seating rounded to the nearest 10,000 and the seating rounded to the nearest 1,000 using greater than, less than, or equal to. So you're going to be using your answers from part C. So your job is to compare Seating rounded to nearest 10,000 and rounded to nearest 1,000 using greater than, less than, or equal to. So you are, uh, hopefully you're noticing that each of the questions is kind of depending on the one before. Letter E, which estimate, and that's rounding to the nearest 10,000 or nearest 1,000, is more accurate? Use words or numbers to explain. So they want to know which of these, nearest 10,000 or nearest 1,000, is more accurate. Use words, numbers to explain. So now you have to explain your thinking. So after you have rounded both to the 10,000th place and the 1,000th place, you want to think about which of these is actually closest to this number. So this is letter E wants to know which would be the more accurate estimate if you round to the nearest 10,000s or if you round to the nearest 1,000. Okay, um, use everything that we've done so far this year to help you on this test. If you have any questions, join my Zoom at 1 o'clock. Bye-bye.